This episode of Destructoid is brought to you by the National Campaign Against Drunk Driving. Coming up on Destructoid, Nintendo ambassadors assemble! Persona 4 is headed to the PS Vita, Dead Island is dangerously close to release, and Femshep is well on her way to becoming a ginger. All this and more coming up on Destructoid. Welcome back to Destructoid. I'm Tara Long. And I'm Max Scoville. Happy Wednesday, Max. Happy Wednesday, indeed. It it's, is? It's nice to be back here. I missed the shit out of everybody I met at PAX. That was a... What is this? Um, what, what a is beer stein full no, of no, water. No. What is this? You're wearing the same outfit as me again. Oh. You got all of these t-shirts at PAX. Oh, Look right. At this. What's wrong with this shirt? Why couldn't you wear that shirt? You had to dress like me. So Tell here's all of the, uh, the swag that I got at PAX. Um, I get a ton of this shit, like, just by virtue of being in the industry. Um, there's a Gunstringer shirt here. We got a bunch of stuff from Twisted Pixel, uh, Shoot Many Robots. Got a Counter-Strike PC beta code here and a bunch of Retro City Rampage stuff. I have too much of this crap, so I'm going to be giving it to you guys in the form of contests um, slowly contests. over the weeks. We're going to be just like dripping. No, we're going to do that. I've even got it. an extra cool Skyrim hat with the horns on it that Jim and I wore in our video that you can. Uh, you want to give that up? Oh, maybe. I know it's maybe. pretty close to your heart. It's pretty. I kind of want to like wear it with my girlfriend. We just put on matching hats, but she probably wouldn't do that. So no. we'll give it to you guys. But, um, um, yeah, but, but thanks to everyone who tuned into our PAX coverage. Um, I thought we did okay. Uh, PAX this year had the biggest turnout ever, 70,000 people, which, God, I, it doesn't seem like that when you're in there, but no. I guess that's a fuck ton of people. So, um, yeah, thanks again for checking our stuff out. Um, over four days, we pumped out about, I think, 27 episodes and did three batshit crazy live streams. So if you missed any of that, go catch up um, right after this episode. There's a playlist up on our YouTube, so, you know, just sit back and let them wash over yeah. you. And if you guys missed the uh, the panel we did where we threw hamburgers in the audience and I forced Hamza to eat cake and Jim Sterling took off his pants and humped a guy. Uh, and I kicked up. you in the balls? There was a lot of ball kicking on her part. More ball kicking that from Tara good. Long. Uh, that'll be up soon at some point. We will definitely make a big loud noise about that when we get it. So, PAX was amazing. Um, I am happy to be back here, though, reporting the news. So, let's move on with my first hard-hitting Mass Effect news story. In news that is sure to surprise no one, it looks like a ginger is winning the Femshep contest. In case you've been living underneath a rock or not reading Destructoid.com, either way, this is the Facebook contest that BioWare organized to decide which hair color Femshep would be sporting on the box art for Mass Effect 3. The blonde Femshep, who by the way looks totally trashy and also weirdly a little bit like Justin Bieber in my opinion, somehow stole the title during the first round, leading to a huge backlash from fans who apparently seem to agree with me that redheads are superior. The other choices, which are not important, include the light sandy brown haired Femme Shep and the black haired Femme Shep, who just looks emo to me. I can't get on board with that. The redhead is currently winning the second round with almost 20,000 votes, while the blonde Femme Shep has just a little over 5,000, so yeah. For the record, I think Facebook polls like this are stupid, but I will take any opportunity I can to assert that redheads are better than everyone else. So, journalism? I'd like to point out that about 85% of the women in the video game industry are in fact redheads. Mm -hmm. I actually, I lost track of Tara back in June at E3 and I was very scared um, and I was looking around. I was like, oh, is that, is that Tara? No, that's Morgan from the Fry. Oh, who's that? Oh, no, that's Lisa Foyles. Oh, that's Rachel Lara Horton. There's too many friggin' redheads. None of their locks are as long and luscious as mine, Max. That's what you should be looking okay. out for. Good God. Anyway. Let's talk about something that matters besides fabulous haircuts. I'm sorry, someone got mad at me for, for not being serious enough about my Mass Effect coverage. What the fuck? What? <laughs> it's ladies' haircuts, you silly, silly people. Anyway. It's important. As you guys know, people who bought a Nintendo 3DS before the price cut took effect will soon be eligible for a big pile of free downloadable games. Now, Nintendo has announced the first 10 of these games officially. They're all going to be re-releases of classic NES titles. Here's the first half of the list, which you already knew about. There's Mario Brothers, sorry, Super Mario Brothers, Donkey Kong Jr., Balloon Fight, Ice Climber, and The Legend of Zelda. Now, the five ones that we hadn't heard about are Metroid, NES Open Tournament, Golf, Wrecking Crew, Yoshi, and Zelda 2: The Adventure of Link. So there you have it. I will try very hard not to make fun of Nintendo's awesome decision making. Um, officially, these are the first 10 free NES games and they're gonna be available tomorrow, September 1st, but you can snag them early by doing the following. If you go into the 3DS eShop, click on the menu in the top left corner, hit settings, and then go to your downloads. You can scroll down and your new games should be there as if you'd already downloaded them and you can re-download them and then have them several hours early. 
Um, not really that exciting since, like I said, they come out in several hours, but presumably this trick will work when Nintendo gives out its free Game Boy Advance games to its 3DS ambassadors. What is an ambassador anyway? I mean, I used the bathroom at a Wendy's once. Does that make me an ambassador for Wendy's? Does it? I think it makes you like a test subject of some sort. It probably makes me like filthy and disgusting. I, I won't do that again. <sighs> uh, let's talk. So let's talk about something I care about. Dead Island is a game that is coming out next Tuesday, and Deep Silver just released a launch trailer for it this morning. Hmm. It's got that same slow, dramatic piano music and kind of forced emotion that all of the previous trailers had, and I, I would be lying if I said I didn't kind of chuckle to myself a little while watching this. In fact, it reminded me a lot of Deep Blue Sea, if Deep Blue Sea had zombies instead of sharks. You know, all the camaraderie between, you know, the people, and the kind of cheesy one-liners, and then the token black guy. I mean, don't get me wrong, Deep Blue Sea was one of LL Cool J's finest films, but I don't want to see that corny, like, movie trailer shit in my video game trailers. So here's what I'm going to do instead. I'm going to forget I saw the trailer for Dead Island, especially, you know, since Destructoid wasn't quoted in it. I don't Weak. know why. And I'm going to go home tonight and play the game instead, because guess what? We have a copy. Yeah. You jelly internet? Me too. We're going to play it. We're going to play the zombie game. It's unmarked. Anyway, Tara, let's take a word from our sponsors. Okay, let's do that. The police will be out in full force nationwide from August 19th to September 5th in a nationwide effort to crack down on impaired driving. So don't put yourself or others in danger. Drive sober or get pulled over. In 2009, 47% of those killed in traffic accidents ages 21 to 34 were impaired at the time, and on average, 31% of people involved in fatal car crashes on the weekend are impaired. Drunk driving costs every single adult in this country an average of $500 a year. Not many people know that. Record numbers of state and local law enforcement and highway safety officials across the nation will be taking part, and they will be looking for drunk drivers day and night, and making the road safer for the rest of us. Do yourself a favor and drive sober or get pulled over. Important message. Word. So, back to the news. We are entering week two of Sony's new PSN Play program, that thing they do where they release a new downloadable game every week for a month. Yesterday's release was The Baconing, which is the third action RPG title in the Death Spank series developed by Hothead Games, where you attempt to defeat the anti-spank and his army of cyberborks. Cyborgs, sorry, uh, before they cast an evil shadow over Spanktopia. If that makes no sense to you, then you probably haven't played any games in the Death Spank series. But don't worry, John Spearbrecker previewed the game for Destructoid recently and deemed it a revitalization of the Death Spank series, adding that, quote, the team at Hothead is really trying to give new and old players a nice sweaty thong wrapped in bacon, soaked in beer batter, and deep fried to sink their teeth into. If that does not at least pique your curiosity about this game, then you probably aren't American because, let's face it, we love our thongs Nothing our like batter. a big, sweaty, deep fried thong. Mm -hmm. Yeah, delicious. <laughs> um, as always, if you're a PS Plus subscriber, you get 20% off of all the PSN Play games. And if you buy the Baconing as part of the PSN Play program, you get the extra co-op character, Roisha, for free. She sounds ethnic. The game is priced at $14.99, and remember, if you buy all four of the PSN Play games by September 19th, you get a free copy of Payday the Heist, which is basically the video game version of Cops and Robbers. Max and I played it at E3. It's super fun. It's super fun. If you want more info on the PSN Play program, head over to us.playstation.com slash PSN Play and check out what they got. All right. So, good news for fans of Atlas's Persona series. Persona 4 is going to be coming to the PlayStation Vita. This new version is being released under the totally non-awkward and Japanese sounding name Persona 4 The Golden. Now, while this is primar primarily going to be a port of the PlayStation 2 version, it will include the following additions. 3G and Wi-Fi support, new event scenes, personas, and character outfits, new anime movie scenes with new voices, and 1.5 times the voice of the PS2 original, as well as a new song for the opening movie and an unnamed element requested by fans. If that's not enough, Atlas also announced a new Persona fighting game being developed with the help of Arc Systems Works, who are the guys behind Blaze Blue. Now, uh, the game's gonna be called Persona 4, the ultimate in Mayanaka Arena, and the 2D fighter is going to hit Japanese arcades next spring with PS3 and 360 versions coming out sometime next summer. Now, if this news story seems devoid of jokes, it's because I have no fucking idea what Persona is about. All I know is what I've heard from Dale North and Jonathan Holmes. It's like 
some shit about Japanese high schoolers who have to fight monsters in an alternate reality or something, but it's a big allegory for adolescence and being a teenager. And then one of the guys gets gay for a minute and then there's like a cartoon bear. I, I'm sorry, if, if I'm gonna spend hundreds of hours, you know, paying attention to something about high, gay high schoolers in a dungeon with a bear, I'm gonna stick to my freaky German porn because JRPGs are weird. You know what, for once I agree with you, Max. I have to say, it's really hard for me to get into any type of Japanese game. They're just so weird. It's hard Flame to take on, seriously. Guys. Flame I know. On. We're gonna get flamed for this, but yeah. hey, you know what, it's a personal preference, and I wouldn't judge you guys for hating yeah. non-JRPGs, um, except that I would. Moving on, um, that's our show. Tune in on Friday. We're gonna be doing the live show thing at 3.30 p.m. Pacific time. Um, we're also going to be giving away some of that delicious swag yeah, that I showed you earlier. Yeah, we got plenty of crap to make. So you. tune in for that. And if you haven't already, go check out all of our PAX coverage. We talked about so many games, stuff like Borderlands 2, Skyrim, even indie stuff, Retro City Rampage, Fez, which is an amazing game. There's something for everyone there, so yeah. go check out our go stuff. Watch, go watch my Skyrim interview yeah. where I asked the lead artist about fish. Anyway, we'll see yeah. you guys Friday. See you Friday.